there's a variety of microphones that we uh, use covering the NBA. Anywhere from Omni Lavaliers to uh, cardioid boundary mics to cardioid short condensers to multi-pattern large diaphragm mics and long hypercardioid shotguns and short shotguns. This is the most exciting and fun is to capture the uh, bouncing ball and the uh, talking and the movement of the players. This is done by a variety of miking techniques such as the use of boundary mics on the actual floor. I will use uh, MX391 on the floor underneath the basket, up and down the side of the court. I may have four or five uh, MX391s. I'll use up to five VP89 long shotguns, having them on all of my handheld cameras on the court and I also use a variety of short VP89s along the scorer's bench and pan those hard left and right, hearing the ball bounce from that using short shotguns along spaced up and down the sides of the court and using hard panning so that you hear the movement from left to right and right to left as they march up and down the court. I typically use a two microphone process that I call high-low. I use a Omni Lavalier on the bottom of the net of the padding underneath the basket and a cardioid lav on the top side of the rim for the slap back. So the Omni mic below will capture the swish of the net and the high mic will capture the clank and the bounce back of the rim after a slam dunk. You want to have the viewer feel as if they were in the stadium. So uh, spot miking on the audience to capture the excitement so that the viewer can feel that just like they were sitting in the arena. More and more is becoming a big issue and concern because of the volume is so loud. And so typically we'll come into an arena such as this and see where the speakers and the PA is and see if we can find holes to position our microphones to have the best rejection of the PA. We use a variety of different techniques, whether it would be mono spot miking and or the use of stereo miking. I will mount a, a KSM 32 or 44 on the backboards. In doing 5.1 mixing, I prefer the MS uh, mode of stereo miking. I also used space pair uh, condensers. I prefer the MS because it allows me to create space and width. It becomes a challenge because you have to survey each arena and see what the positioning can be but most definitely, it is always a distributed system using multiple antennas. The ambience can be a challenge because every arena is different. So typically, I'll come in and I'll survey the arena. I'll look at where the PA is and to see how close I can get to the people. And then based upon those decisions is where I will place my microphones. <laughs> 